three words to describe your team members? Energetic, creative, and teamwork. If you have a one-way trip ticket to Mars, what would you bring? Hi everyone, I'm here at the College of Future Technology of Peking University and today we're going to meet an amazing PKU scientist. Let's go visit him! Nice to meet you. Thank you for the visit. Please take a seat. Can we steal your time to ask few questions today? Oh, sure. Can you tell me what is your morning routine? I get up at uh, 7.30, take a shower, having breakfast, arrive at uh, the office at 9 a.m. I will process some uh, emails and documents. How long have you been in this office? I've been here for only nine months. I'm feeling very exciting because uh, we've been waiting for this brand new building for over 15 years. What did you study for your PhD? My PhD is about uh, information optics. Can you tell me what is your personality type? I think I am definitely an extrovert people now. Coffee or tea? Coffee. Running or hiking? Neither. I am not so good at uh, sports. What is the geekiest thing about you? I like programming a lot. You can get instant feedback and uh, you can correct them. Gives you a lot of uh, sense of success. So what is your favorite movie all the time? Mm, that will be The Matrix. Can you tell me what is your favorite book? The name is Principle of Success, written by Dale Carnegie, which inspired me a lot. This way is my lab. Thank you, uh, Professor, for inviting us to the laboratory. Can you tell me a little bit what is this laboratory about? Yeah, uh, our research project is primarily uh, focused on structured illumination microscopy. We generate different types of structured illumination and uh, shoot them onto the specimen. Uh, this fascinating technology abbreviated as SIM, S-I-M. It gives you the uh, high uh, spatial resolution, but uh, more importantly, the highest uh, temporal resolution, and also uh, it is live cell compatible. What are some of the most critical experimental challenges that you have encountered? Uh, although biological specimen is roughly transparent, it gives you the scattering and the aberration. We need to have generate creative ways so that to maintain the uh, structure il illumination is proper and the information we extracted is accurate. Let's say if you have no budget constraint, how would you design an ideal SIM system? We need to focus more on the customer needs, how a smart or user-friendly uh, plays the key role. Thank you for showing me your laboratory. And now we are in a very beautiful garden and I see that this is the College of Engineering. This is actually the first building of College of Engineering mm. because this is a brand new college back in 2005 when it first established. This is a very ancient uh, building. Mm, I can see, but very beautiful indeed. Can you tell me what is your favorite place on the campus? the uh, Weiming Lake. It makes me quiet when I walk around and it is beautiful all the seasons. As a teacher, how would you describe yourself? Being a professor in Peking University, I feel really blessed. We have these top talented students. I feel I am young again by uh, interacting with them. Now, uh, can you tell me what is the biggest or the best invention of all the time? In my career, would be the polarized uh, structure illumination microscope. We started the project uh, back in 2017, and now uh, we have uh, already helped 200 uh, research groups. They generate uh, four uh, top-tier publications on highly impacted journals. If you have a one-way trip ticket to Mars, what would you bring? I will bring letters uh, from the friends and the relatives. Uh, love is something that I will definitely missing. Do you think your SIM system will be applicable in Mars? Oh, sure, definitely. You know, uh, in Mars, who knows what could happen for our biological cells and the body. So super resolution plays a key role. So I think that's the final question. Thank you so much for spending your time with us. Thank you, Thank Professor. You.